Hello, Twitch, hello, YouTube. Uh, apologies to YouTube and I guess any Twitchers who were watching at the time. I accidentally messed up my audio playing Monster Crown and I forgot to change it for Peglin. Uh, and therefore the last video that went up had no audio. Well, sorry, it had my audio, but it didn't have game audio. Which is the way around I prefer that to be, by the way, but yeah, apologies. I've changed it now, so you should be able to hear the, the sweet, sweet dinging action of Peglin. Anyway, what do I want to do? We were playing a lot of round roll runs recently. We got to Crucible 8 with them. Uh, let's do a Spin Venter, though. I've not done a Spin Venter for a while. Crucible 4. Sure. Do we want unique orbs? Detonates while navigating. So bombs detonated provide 5 gold. Contribute to damage. Let me just get bombs detonating one hit. Okay, we're gonna hit one of the bombs. We're gonna kill one of the flower people. Uh, we'll go for another bomb hit here as well. Definitely not the bomb I was aiming for, but I'll take it. And now we just gold farm, right? I play a bit of Peglin off camera as well as just, you know, the default character where I'm on Crucible like 14 or something. Uh, boy, that is miserable. <laughs> Starting with less gold. Bombs doing like 15 less damage. It's just so miserable. Anyway, I really want to shoot into this right thing on the, the right side of the map, the bottom right one. Okay, didn't work. Somehow I'm like perfectly misnavigating all the gold. You love to see it. Applies double damage slime to every certain thing you hit or your first thing does extra damage. Or it converts it to do more damage. There is a shop incoming pretty close. I'm actually going to forgo this and try and get the shop. We have two question mark tiles. Who knows what they are? They might not be battles. We're not taking that. Oh, force a pebble into that ob obelisk. Thank you very much. Please let me out of this as well. Not the way! Obelisk, you always find a way to ruin my day. All right. Name of the game of this map is not to hit every single bomb, so I'm very really happy I've hit like every single bomb already. I guess it doesn't super matter. We can do a bit of gold farming now. It matters more on the higher difficulties. I just want to have access to the bombs, really. Well, never mind. Ooh, summoning circle. That is a lot of fun. I'll take it for fun reasons. And then we're going to upgrade it. And then we're going to upgrade it. All right. Game, you're forgiven. I will head towards... Oh, should I head towards the shop of the Elite? I should head towards the shop. I think removing an orb is like the best thing you can do in this game. Which is why we're going to go fight the Elite. Embrace lightning random navigation. Give me random navigation, please. It didn't really matter which way I went. Uh, we'll go for Echo up here, I think. The Pachinko Gods agree. I would like some piercing. We'll add that to the sack. Pachinko Gods, you agree I can fight an elite right now? Peglin says no. Also, just got a YouTube comment waiting for the, the newest weekly gameplay. Uh, I don't want to call you out by your account, but why are you not in the stream? I played the weekly earlier. Uh, we'll get rid of the pebble. You know what the game is looking after me? It's letting me remove orbs by a wide variety of ways. Uh, Elite is a little bit spooky, but 
I think I'm still gonna head towards that direction. Never mind. <laughs> you know what, game? You take the, the reins. You play the game for me. No downside to taking that. Uh, and there's no downside to failing... Oh, sorry, going left or right here. So we'll try and open the chest. We didn't. If we get the gunpowder, though, we can basically guarantee open it. Okay, the bat I need to get killed now. Uh, and I think we can farm gold. Kill bat, farm gold. Perfect. And then when things get scary, just vomit orbs <laughs> at the bomb. And I'll get it, you out of trouble. Okay, do I want... Believiation applies damage reduction to every 16 pegs hit. It melts off at the start of each turn. Double damage slime. I, I'm not, not going to lie, I'm not really hot on this Believiation stuff. I don't think it's particularly good. Twoo's company is interesting. I'm really looking for something that, like, synergizes super well with Summoning Circle, right? And then, ideally, like, a super strong orb for the Echo to, like, come off. None of these are it. I think I might be in the market for building an orb. Maybe that is what we're looking for. Can't believe that. Whatever. Really good. Free crack at opening this again. Holy shit, I did it. <laughs> I'm stunned. I think that's the first time I've done it with just the, the short fuse. All right, Stone, I need you to do a lot of work for me because we've got a, a super echo incoming afterwards. That's acceptable. Go, echo -orbs. Now we fight the actual echo -orb. Very nice. Then we fight the echo again, I guess. Uh, and now we try and farm some gold. Wow, 100 gold. Pretty good. Ooh, Swaltorb. Now you're talking. We're speaking the same language again. That's what you want to fire out of the, the super magic cannon. Get the entire map, Giga Swall. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're so close. Okay, we got both the bombs on that side. I can live with this. I'm gonna just fire you because I want the swallness to go inside of the slimy body. Cool. Now we'll go for some bomb damage. Echo up me. Ooh, not very good on the echo. Okay, we're now in the center of this guy. Refresh me. And get me swallow. We're, we're not dying here. Chill fight, to be completely honest with you. The Kemi Ball Hazard is also pretty nice, but I think we're going in a different direction now. I should upgrade you. 
I'm not going to upgrade you again, though. We definitely, if we want to win the run, we should go for Sferidae's Fate, because it's actually good. Whereas the other two things are pretty bad. That being said, I don't ever take the Defresh Potion, and we do have two Refreshes on the board. You know what, for Intrigue, let's try this. It's not only Crucible 4, right? Crucible 4, you'll be nice to me. Well, that's an awful start. The summoning thing is at the bottom of the sack, which you hate to see. And then it's a stone before the Echo. Orb. Wow, I didn't know that was a projectile, weirdly. I don't know why I didn't think it was, but I didn't think it was. It's fine. We have the entire floor to reheal. And the Morbid has actually paid out pretty nicely on this map. <laughs> I do like the rubber dot. Rub rubber is orb. Rubber is orb. It's pretty funny. And that does synergize with what I'm doing right now. Where's my nearest shop? It's pretty far away. Okay. We'll take this. I'll drop a heal for safety reasons. And I'll save myself 50 gold. And I'll try and fight the elite. Okay, this is more like it, for ordering at the very least. Got the refresh. Get a decent amount of damage. I was hoping for a bit more, to tell you the truth. But this is still 84 to all enemies, which is pretty fantastic. Got the crit as well. Didn't kill you two. Oh well. Gold farming exercise. You're dead. Chris uh, applies rubber slime. Not intrigued. Don't want to take another swalt up because that ruins spin venter. Safety reasons probably would dictate you should heal. I, I'll heal. I'll heal and drop a little upgrade. I think that is fine. Now, do I remember where I put my my mouse on the the chest opening? No. And I want to fight the elite, so I'm not going to risk it. I'll remove an orb, please. Great deal. Okay, who are we fighting? The Diddle Wall. And this is the opening you always want. My Swall Torp. Get the board Swall. It means they do more damage later. Perfect. Snipe that crit. And even Morbid on these maps does quite a lot of work. 500 damage? Uh, we're in no rush to fight this off either. I missed the crit. I did get a double damage slime off. Uh, and then we try and obliterate you. By the way... Oh, we're not at the point of the Crucible yet where it's removed one of the other refreshes. I didn't even notice that I had three briefly. Damn, I missed. Still 200 damage. Some 46 health. Just send it. Cool. Really good battle. I might even fight another elite. I don't think I need to spend my money. Although, we might as well take these through to the max level at this point. Oh, orbs having persist. Uh, it's pretty good with the 
the magic circle one. It's pretty bad with everything else though, but <clears throat> we are approaching a point where I've removed all the, the the chud from the deck. It's just getting it's really bad when you get persist on a pebble. But at the same time I don't want to turn all my pegs into bombs. I'll try this, but I think it's I think more often than not it's really bad for me. For science though, it's relatively new. I think it was added in the patch we fall last, right? Well, the first mirror is Giga Dead. I did say this plus persist was going to be really good. Turned out to be true. It only hits refresh crits and bombs, pierces through all others. It fires with huge force. It's very bouncy, it has low gravity. Oh, it's not part of the assemble. Never mind, I'm not interested. <laughs> Coward. Thank you. Very good. Uh, right. I'm gonna go turbo greedy. Give me another elite battle. I'm not afraid. Now, this is the one fight I am a little bit afraid of, though. I don't have great AoE, but we do have an Echo up fairly early, so hopefully that will help me win. I need a big damage here from you. Pebble. Okay, it's, it's okay damage. As long as the Echo now just pierces through and ruins everyone, I'm okay. That's fine. Another Echo. 460 damage? Yes, please. Oh my god. Echo, you're crazy. Oh, Echo up with Pace is insane. Wait, hang on a minute. I would never realize. It's a, sorry. Yeah, because if I hit all the enemies, the damage of the Echo carries onto the Echo up again. Oh! Oh! Multi ball? Creates two gold whenever the body's refresh. Multi ball, though. Mm, give me multi ball. Mm, yeah, it's a little bit of multi-ball. Uh, we definitely want to go right as well if we can make that happen. Thanks. All right, we don't shop this floor. Why not? And give me another elite, you cowards. I'll scoop it up. I'm not sure how much I'm adding to the sack from now, but... Okay, this is like the perfect opening-ish. We can do the Echo play again. So we build up a decent amount of damage here. Now my Echo... Oh, I guess the Echo doesn't work as well when it's only one enemy, right? There's 150. So that gets added onto the Echo again now. It does. Really still 100 or something damage. That's pretty good. And then we get the multi-ball. Eventually we're going to get the multi-ball to align up with the summoning circle and then I'm just going to lose it. Who's the last battle? 
Oh, it's the shooter guy. So there is a reason to heal. Yeah, I'll take a heal. Being above 90 is pretty big. Okay, that's actually anti-synergistic with my spin vent originality. I'll take Branch of Ember, even though I can't activate it right now. All right, see you later. Summoning circle it is. Oh, it's all going into the shield. No, 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 right. It's, it's not going into the shield. It is going into a shield. Ah, come on. Still, we wiped out like everyone on the, the map. It's pretty good. Uh, and we can just gold farm at this point if we really want to. Cool. Deals an additional 0.34 damage for each peg hit this battle. Yes. Actually really good. Now that was pretty stupid. We're not going to get super punished as long as I go down the hole this time. Alright, I take one less shot from the bow now. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. The memo boss also got a really nice synergy with Morbid and with Summoning Circle. So four six deals an additional 0.5 damage for each peg hit this battle plus 166 damage that's a lot of damage oh and he had multi-ball on it as well cool he's nearly dead oh we didn't quite get him this turn a single solitary bomb will do it though We've done it. Wow. That might be the most efficient way of killed this guy. I appreciate the idea of this, but I think my stack is getting too big again. Now, funnily enough, off camera, I took Constricting Chains on a run. And I can't remember what I had it with. I had it with something else, and it was actually not Giga Terrible. Spoilers I lost, by the way, because eventually the Constriction Chains did cause me to lose the run, as I couldn't aim for the refresh. What did I have? I think I had, like, Matryoshka or something to, like, everything split up from it, and it made it not Giga Terrible. Anyway, I'm not taking it right now. It's just to be aware that it, it has got niche cases where you can take it and it not feel awful. I think I also had Electro Pegnet at the time. Or did I? No, I, I couldn't have had it. I, it was on the first floor. Oh, maybe I had the Electro Pegnet Orb, if you know what I mean. Anyway, we obviously would like to just one-shot this mirror. We are not going to one-shot the mirror. Damn, we were close. Like, look how small that map just got then. In one fire. No. As cool as it is. Oh, actually, why not? Who cares if that doesn't get the spin... Spin vent originality. It doesn't matter, right? Because I don't fire this orb. Yeah! Oh, it's also fully upgraded now. I'll take a safety heal. How? Don't talk to me about that. Okay, there is an early shop. Do I want the gold orb? 
See you later. Where I'm going, I don't need the money anymore. Which, funnily enough, is the shop. Okay, this is actually a hard battle. Let's let's refocus. I think this is the easier of the two new mushroom maps, but... It's definitely one you can F up. That being said, this echo should go pretty hard. So it hits everyone that's like huge damage. Oh no, it doesn't work the way I thought it did. I thought before we saw it get the effect of all the echoes, but I guess it didn't. Uh, and now we'll just fight you off a few times. I can live with that. Says so the path when fired. The next orb fires a copy of itself in that direction with zero times force. What? It just floats in space? <laughs> uh, heal me, continue me. Take me to the shop. I saw you trying to sneak down the middle there. Get rid of the pebble. Refreshes the board on every reload. It kind of doesn't matter because we have more bids. But equally, this doesn't super matter. weak shop. There are more, so I'll save my money. You know what? You do you. I actually don't care about the last orb. I'm, I would probably sell it if I could. Chest. Yeah, I want to be going down the left path. Great deal. I'm really scared of the elites on this floor as well, because there's Casper the Spooky Ghost, or whatever he's meant to be called, is around here somewhere. What? Oh, yeah, I remember this. You get to fight the forest boss again, sure. Oh, it's this guy again. What an awful opening. We'll make something of it, but still. Wow, Kinetic Meteor just did a lot of work. Uh, is this good now? Is this all good? Oh, okay, this is pretty good now. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it had multiball on it, 300 damage. You dead? You're not dead. Hmm. Pegboard started with twice as many bombs. Gain, attacks gain minus one plus one for every crit on the board. We do hit the crit a decent amount, but it's not something that we're guaranteed to hit. Man, I'm toying with taking nothing again. I have a very light bomb synergy. Ah, oh, sure, just take the bomb, you look. I don't think it's going to super turbo matter. There's no bombs in the final fight either against the dragon. It doesn't turbo matter, but I'm still a little bit aggrieved that he went that way. We should accept it. I still love that you can turn that down, by the way. Lose half your health, your half your max health. Uh, don't take the super reward. I mean, all of this is junk as well. Because I don't think there's anything I want to remove at this point. I'm happy with my sack. I guess we'll take that. That. 
I mean, exit. We'll have a crack at opening this. Close. Yeah, invest when there's one fight left. Good deal. Okay, time to get Squall immediately. Ideally do more than 500 damage. Okay, the mirror is dead. I can't target Worm Boy while that thing's up, so... We'll send another Swallow Orb out there. And it's over. So, I think we're going to beat the Dragon. I think our build is really good against them as well. Just... don't. I can't get out! Come on! Okay, that was dumb. The last one was dumb. There you go. I took like 20 damage for that. I can heal it, but still. Okay, that's the dream. Oh, they've changed its map slightly. It's not quite as pyramid-esque as it used to be. That's honestly a good change. There were literally some runs where you'd get this guy and it was impossible for you to beat him. By the way, what's happening? Oh my god, I just realized Morb... <laughs> Morbid plus Swaltorb is a synergy. I never ever considered that. I just one-shot the dragon. I, I've never ever done that before. And not even to any of the final bosses. And the dragon has the most health. What the hell just happened? That was crazy. That was so good. I kind of wish I was looking. I was glancing at chat. I didn't see my great moment. Anyway, YouTube, that's going to do it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everyone helps me out. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.